Uh, we'll do a roll call. I'm Ray Mitchell, the uh, chair of the uh, Civil Service Commission. Joshua Wilson, Civil Service Commissioner. Chief Examiner and Secretary of the Civil Service Commission. Jeff Young, Deputy Police Chief. Okay, great. Uh, our first action item is the approval of the minutes for the uh, August 25th meeting that I wasn't there. So Josh, uh, would you make a motion to accept that as written? Yeah, I will make a motion to accept that as written. And I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that, the minutes are accepted. <clears throat> the next item, item B, is the uh, certify the entry level police officers continuous testing eligibility list. And that's a nice list. It looks like we've got seven people on there. And uh, any questions about that list, Josh? I didn't have any, did you? No, I'm fine. Uh, I guess I'll make a motion that we accept that list as written. You second that? I second that. All in favor? Aye. Okay, I will sign that. Item C on our action item is uh, certify the lateral police officers continuous testing eligibility list. And I see we have five uh, candidates on there. Uh, I make a motion that we accept that as written. Josh? Second it. All in favor? Aye. Well, we're going right along here. And Brian just joined us. <laughs> oh, Brian just joined us. Hello, Brian. Earth to Brian. <laughs> there he is. Brian, we went ahead and, uh, and uh, approved the minutes. Uh, Josh uh, asked for a motion to do that. We approved both the entry level and lateral list. So I guess the next item on there is a staffing update. And Julie prepared this uh, matrix to kind of show, you know, we've asked kind of, we know we have, I think, eight openings. We've kind of asked for a matrix that would show kind of where these eight potential replacements are. And Julie, do you want to go over that? Does everybody have a copy of that? I can do that. Or Chief, do you want to take, do you want to tackle that? Your exciting news? Yes, yeah, sure. So um, with that uh, list, and I don't know if Julie had an opportunity to update it, but uh, we just gave our final offer to one of our lateral candidates, and he has accepted that. And he will be starting with our department on September 19th. So that is extremely good news for us. Um, he is a in-state lateral uh, from a local agency. So it's going to be a pretty quick transition, hopefully, to get him through FTO and then get him onto the road. Um, <clears throat> we are scheduling next week the interviews for a couple of our uh, lateral candidates that are out of state and a couple of other ones that are out of state from the entry level side. Um, so we're hoping to get some some real traction going on here. And uh, Julie and I were just out at a career fair yesterday. So we did pass on some information to a few potentially interested candidates. So hopefully we'll see some of that come to fruition for us. Nice. Well, if I read this correctly, uh, we, we have eight vacant positions and these lists uh, are up to 17, is that what you said? Uh, we got 15 people on the two Fif lists. 15 on these two. So out of the 15, if we get half of them, we're, we're in pretty good shape. For sure. I hope. <laughs> Brian or Josh, you have any comments about the staffing update? No, sounds like we're moving in a good direction to finally start to fill these positions. So. Well done. I just have one question. I noticed, um, you know, going by their scores, uh, and I'm assuming that's the percentages of the testing score or some sort of cumulative score. Are, are you going by the origination date when you're prioritizing for background checks? So like the first, first person in with a, right, you know, that made it through the first testing, if you will, uh, to go through the background checks. It looks like you're going by the date that they, the first interaction came through versus the test score. Is that accurate? Well, the chief can, he can pick from any of the top five candidates okay. plus okay. additional candidates per vacancy. So at okay. this point, we've got, we have so many vacancies. He can look at any candidate on any list. And okay. usually, um, chief, feel free to jump in, but they, they do their chief's interviews and then decide from there which candidates to move forward. Is that right, chief? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. 
I just noted a couple of them had notations in background check, and I was just wondering, you know, if that was part of the criteria, or you can just take take them all and get them as fast as you can through the system. A lot of times what we do is we'll do our interview processes and we'll figure out the most suitable candidates. Um, and then if there's questions about something as we're vetting them through the process or something like that, then we may process a candidate that may on the list look like they're lower down, like, you know, say number five is an arbitrary number. Um, right. We may be processing that person because they're a much more viable candidate and we can get them through the process. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. On a new issue, uh, I had the opportunity to attend the uh, Guns and Hoses softball game between the fire department and police department. Uh, Chief, did you make it there? No, I was actually down in uh, Richland doing my uh, final FBI LIDA class. Uh, well, they, the fire department won uh, 17 to 16. It's a real heartbreaker, oh. you know, because the police department, uh, they really did well. It, uh, you know, it wasn't their time, but I had an opportunity. I was telling Julie to meet uh, uh, one of your trainees, Walters, is that his last name, Walter? Yes, he's oh, in the academy. academy. If, if he's indicative of the new officers we're going to get, we're going to be very, very pleased. You know, as a, he played and he's a good softball player. That doesn't mm -hmm. hurt. <laughs> but what a nice young man. And uh, Chief, if you were there, I think the outcome would have been different. But FBI <laughs> called <laughs> <laughs> important stuff first. <laughs> I appreciate the kind words, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a close one, you know. Seventeen sixteen, they, yeah. they lost in the bottom of the seventh inning. It just it was a heartbreaker because I'm always rooting for the police because they they have so few people to draw from. You know, the the fire district now that they've expanded. I mean, they go all the way to Clearview. They got hundreds and hundreds of people. They have their own inner league. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. We uh, took it easy on them. They do business. I'll just um, oh. just a reminder that the um, the civil service uh, conference is coming up September twentieth, twenty first, and twenty second, and it's uh, nine to noon. The first two days. The third day is actually a, an annual business meeting for public safety testing, which is the company we use for doing the physical ability and written test for our entry-level candidates. And you're welcome to attend any or all of those three days. Um, if you're going to attend, be sure and take a look at the email um, that I've sent you. You need to register for each of those three days. Um, if, if you're not able to, that's fine too. They offer this every year. Uh, this year is particularly convenient because it's uh, virtual and it's a half day. But um, if there's anything new and exciting or if there's materials I can share with you, if you're not able to attend, I'm happy to do that. Great. Thanks, Julie. Anybody else have anything else? No new business for me, Ray. No. I make a motion we adjourn the meeting. No seconded? Seconded. All hey, favor? Josh. I agree. Adjourn the meeting. Good day, everybody. <laughs> Thank you all. Thanks. Thanks. See you guys next time. Thank you guys. Good work, Chief. Thanks, sir. Have a good weekend. You too.